Hey everyone, it's Dan Lots of 92 Films here. I wanted to make a video for International Women's Day highlighting the 10 female filmmakers that I thought were the most significant in film history. This is an, of my own personal list. If you disagree, I would love to hear who you think is great. I try to pick people who were a little bit more obscure so that people could uh, find new filmmakers. So we start off this list with one of my favorite filmmakers, Elaine May. She was a comedian in the 1950s with the filmmaker Mike Nichols. And she, in the late 70s, decided to make films and start directing. She made films like The New Leaf, the most maligned film, uh, Ishtar, and she also made a classic called Mikey and Nikki, which is one of my favorite films. Moving on from there, we have Julie Dash. She was a filmmaker in the LA Rebellion movement. She was also the first female African American filmmaker to receive wide distribution on her film Daughters of Dust and her film is now in the Library of Congress for its aesthetic uh, significance to the film culture. Moving down the list, we have Claire Denis, who is a French filmmaker who lived in West Africa. She made films about colonial and post-colonial movements, and her most important film to me is the film White Material, but she also directed the A24 film High Life with Robert Pattinson. It's a really great film. Moving on down the list, we have Sofia Coppola, who is Francis Ford Coppola's daughter. She made so many different types of films, specifically Lost in Translation, which is more of a tender and sweet film. And then she made a film called Bling Ring, which is more abrasive and more of a modern film. And she has a lot of different styles. If we move to the 1980s, we have Donna Deitch, who was a filmmaker who made the very first lesbian love story that was depicted in a positive way. And this was very significant as so many films always use that specific storyline as a negative or all the characters would end up dying. So this was a very positive movement for that specific film. One of the more relevant filmmakers is Kelly Reinhardt. She makes minimalist films about the working class people. She made Rivers of Grass, Wendy and Lucy, and she's currently making a film that's coming out very soon called First Cow for A24. It looks really, really great. One of the most exciting and notable names on the list is Greta Gerwig. She's an actress from the Mumblecore movement who then moved into screenwriting and directing. She started with Frances Ha, which she acted in and wrote the screenplay for. And then she also directed Lady Bird and Little Women, both of which are Oscar nominated films. If you're looking for someone on a little bit of the more weird side, you have Anna Biller, who is a feminist filmmaker from America. She made two films, Love Witch and Viva, which are both very unique takes on classic films trying to be portrayed in modern day settings. One of the more mainstream names on the list is Chloe Zhao. She's a Chinese born American filmmaker who had her second film, The Rider, premiere at Cannes Film Festival. She's currently working on a very big project for Marvel, the film The Eternals. And the final filmmaker on our list is Lynn Ramsey. She is a Scottish filmmaker who is a writer, director, producer, and cinematographer. And she made such films as Ratcatcher, We Need to Talk About Kevin, and You Were Never Really Here. All of our films are very abrasive and very dark. So that's my list. I hope you guys enjoyed. If I didn't mention a female filmmaker that you thought was really inspiring, put it down in the comments below. I would love to see, because not everyone here knows every filmmaker, and it would be really interesting for us to all learn more about cinema. So have a great day, and subscribe.